Today on Beer Scientist, we'll be starting our secondary fermentation of our Bavarian Hefeweizen. So here we have our Hefeweizen. It's fermented for seven days and the fermentation slowed down to the point that we can move it into our secondary fermenter. So the CO2 that's released by fermentation has slowed down to about two minutes, so we can go ahead and move this batch into our secondary fermenter. Now the reason we're going to siphon our batch from our primary fermenter into this clean five gallon glass carboy secondary fermenter is to separate the batch from the sediment. Now fermentation causes sediment, which is a mixture of proteins expelled by the yeast as well as other particles that exist in the batch to fall to the bottom as well as stick to the sides of a glass carboy. The reason we want to separate our batch from the sediment is to get a cleaner taste as well as to get a clearer beer. So we're going to go ahead, siphon our batch from our primary fermenter to our secondary fermenter, get the batch into a nice clean vessel so we can do secondary fermentation, which is another week of allowing the yeast to ferment our beer. This two-piece siphon will allow us to get a nice, strong, airtight flow from our primary fermenter into our secondary fermenter. Okay, so we can go ahead and insert our siphon into our primary fermenter. Get a few good plunges. Okay, there we have it. We've started the flow. We'll let this siphon the batch. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So here you can see our secondary fermenter. It's a five gallon glass carboy. We do have a nice strong siphon of our batch into this glass carboy. We fully siphoned our batch from our primary fermenter to our secondary fermenter. All we need to do now is plug the secondary fermenter with a hold stopper and a three-piece airlock and let it ferment for another seven days. Here you can see the sediment that we left in our primary fermenter. So if I turn it sideways you can see it's pretty thick. This is just proteins and other particles that existed in our beer that we've separated away from our batch. Here you can see we've put our secondary fermenter with our Bavarian Hefeweizen batch back into the pantry. Let this batch ferment for another seven days and then we'll be ready to bottle it. This has been the secondary fermentation of our Bavarian Hefeweizen.